Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use combo box with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So let's get started. I'm going to take a combo box from my toolbox and I will take a button and I'm going to take a text box from here. So I have three items or three controls. First of all, I'm going to change the font size of these items. I will select all of them and I will go to the property called font and I will change the font from here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is let me change the text of this button also so that it has the text add items so why we use combo box combo box uh, generally we use for containing the items different items or a list of items right so one way of populating the list of item in the combo box is directly just select your combo box and go go to the property called items and just click this small button and in here you can add your items for example I want to make a list of items for names so I will write some names here I will write first name and press enter second name and press enter third name press enter fourth name and press enter and in this way you can make a list of items one by one and when you click OK and when you run the program and when you see this list you are going to see the list in here and whenever you select any item from the list it's going to be selected in here in the combo box right so this is one way of populating your list box the other way is populating your list box at runtime. So for example, I want to uh, populate my list box whenever I enter some name in the text box. So how can we do this? I will just select my button and double click it. And in here I will write the name of my combo box. So I will write combo box 1 which is the name of my combo box dot items dot add okay and what I'm going to add here in this bracket I will pass the argument text box one which is the name of my text box dot text right so this line what this line will do is whatever text I will add in the text box it will add the item in the combo box so let me demonstrate what this is doing is so for example I will add some names in the text box and I will say add item and when you see this here you see one more item is added to the list here right so in this way the items are added to the combo box for example some new name and I will add item and now it has one more item so in this way you can add more items to the list box by adding adding the items dynamically or at runtime okay so let me get rid of the collection which I have created here I think I haven't deleted the connection collection I will delete it and press ok and let me check whether I have so now I don't have any collection and I can add some collection so some name some other name so you can see items are added to the list box right 
now for example whatever item I select in the combo box I want to show the message that this item is selected so what I am going to do is I'm going to select this combo box and double click it and in here I will say message box dot show and in the message box show argument I will pass combo box one which is the name of my combo box dot text okay and now when I run the program first of all let me add some names first name second name third name fourth name so I have some names in the combo box four names or uh, and whenever I select some name from here for example mark it will show me the message box with the name mark okay and I select some other name John and it shows me the message box saying John so in this way you can display the selected item in the combo box right but some more other time you also may want to make this combo box non editable right so just select your combo box and go to the property called so just select your combo box and go to the property called drop down style and just select here instead of drop down just select drop down list and this will make your combo box non editable so what the non editable uh, combo box means is you cannot enter any text here you can just see and it's just read only and you can cannot enter any item or any text here and when you do it drop down it's like you can enter some text manually inside this combo box so in this way you can use a combo box in visual basic you can explore combo box properties to uh, change the its properties and you can customize how you want to use combo box i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now